Hello everyone, this is Avaran Capro, and uh, since I was lazy last time, I'm gonna do the actual thing now. And, uh, hmm. Well, let's tweet Emmett this time, actually. I like Emmett. He's a chill little nerd. <sighs> Suck puppet alone in space. Meet your new best friend. Proudly endorsed by the Astro Citizen Medical Staff. Yeah, Suck Puppet's help for insanity and that's kinda kinda funny. Okay. Am I allowed to grab the shit? Food is good. I'm oh, not a can't throw it in yet. You need to localize where stuff is then. Duct tape is very good. I want fur. Yeah. I also want fur. Drop this. Fuck. Dumb chairs. Go away. Hi girl, hi. I want you. Hey. hey. Oh, this is so stressful. I nope. am not good with nope. Nope. Oh god, I can't grab it. Nope. Oh no, please come here, Tom. <laughs> I agree. Well, I should have looked out where the book is. Look, not looked out, but I should have found the book. Let's go! Can't do it! Bye, home. Power, minerals, chemicals! Resources for all your crafting and upgrading needs. Indeed! Those do be good. And I know that technically is not proper English, but I don't need you anymore. Alright. Uh, day one. Yeah, this is as always. And but this time, the captain's goals are make five su successful intelligence attribute decisions. And these captain goals are bound to the specific characters. And I'm giving an intelligence speech because I am smart. God, I have my speaker in my couch, so like it vibrated a lot. Clever speech sound like a great idea. Of course, that only works if the one who gives it is, well, witty enough. Your tongue suddenly stopped working and all you could utter was cool, 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 cool. No doubt, no doubt. I relate. I relate, Emmett. As far as speeches go, it was the worst one in this part of the universe. Your crew seems to be in agreement about this. Congratulations, Captain. It's day one and you have already succeeded in bringing your people together against a common foe, no less. <laughs> To cheer you up a little after this fiasco, I allowed myself to power up the enzyme, gen enzyme generator in the back of the shuttle. It will produce some useful chemicals for you daily. <laughs> Thank you. Captain, the crafting module is in the back of the cabin. The ca in the back of the cabin is now active. It's just like the Astro Citizen materials said. This wonderful machine lets you create something from almost nothing. All you need is a little bit of minerals, chemicals, or power. Use it to craft, recycle, and repair your supplies, as well as upgrade your items and shuttle system. <sighs> Captain, it is important to keep yourself and your crew well fed. One portion of delicious canned soup is enough to sustain a human for a few days. Whatever you took from the space station will have to last you for a while. That is why it's important to keep good inventory of your stock. Unless you want to eat your own crewmates. Haha, 
That was a joke. Please appreciate it and laugh. Thank you for your cooperation, Captain. Who will perform the routine supply check? The only requirement is simple mathematics. I realize I might be asking a lot, but I have a good feeling about this crew, Captain. And well, they're all pretty smart, but let's give it to Coffee Lady over here. She's forgetting her name. And let's make a medkit. I don't have a medkit. We all know what happened last episode, and we don't talk about that. <sighs> Alright, route and supply check is now complete, and it does not compute. An error was made. That's what I get for trusting humans to do math. Minus one suit. Sad. Okay, I'm not gonna read that. Morale is low. Sad. Captain, this is extraordinary. The scanners have picked up a container floating in our vicinity. I wonder what's inside. Well, now, Captain, should we try to pull the container on board? Yes. Yes, we shall. Let's go. Next day. Next day. <laughs> oh, we found a phone. Nice. Now we don't need to make one. The oxygen level is dropping. We have a malfunctioning filter in the main onboard support circuit for oxygen waste, or MOSCO for short. I don't know who named it, and we cannot rule out sabotage. <laughs> you should find it. You can reach MOSCO from the zero G space between the hull and the outer deck. Well, I'm gonna send her. I trust her. Her name is April, right? Yeah, and Coffee Lady is Dee Dee. Right! You're Tom. I never realized their last name starts with the same letter every birthday. Wow. I pay attention. Uh, med kit is done. Okay, good news. No, interesting news, Captain. It appears that there's a whole space behind the wolf. And oh, this again. Well, let's not break it open this time. Let's be clever about it. Let's also make a suck puppet. Day six. Yesterday, I brought your attention to the hidden space behind one of the wall panels. You did your best to access it, but to no avail. We will probably never learn what's on the other side. My computation suggests there's only 1% chance of there being any treasure. Like a really big soup can. In short, definitely not worth the trouble. Alright, we found a small metal box in one of the compartments labeled, labeled to search, do open. You could take apart the lock and gather some elements from it, ignoring what's inside, or you could try to open it, which would require deft fingers. Which will it be? I mean, I'm intelligent, let's be intelligent. <laughs> um, that's me, but it... Me as an Emmet. Tinker with the box lock, you did not it did not pay off. You triggered its anti tampering mechanism and heard a breaking sound within. The box's contents were destroyed. It made you and your crew incredibly frustrated. Alright. Dee Dee Oh, you both hate me? you all hate me. The mini reactor again. What did I do to deserve this? Why do you hate me? Jeff, I'll have to feed you now. <laughs> Rude crew getting insubordinate when I don't feed them? Wow. April is not looking too hot. <sighs> I know transmission. I'm going to do that myself. I cannot craft anything, but April it hurts, so let's give her a minute. Day 9. First contact. Okay. I'm not gonna read everything about it. You did a splendid job, Captain. The electromagnetic interference that you traced point to what seems to be a potential landing spot in our flight path. Our ETA to that celestial body, or whatever it might be, is T minus three. Can y'all stop complaining? 
Oh god, we just suffered a collision with an asteroid. Our solar shield is kaput. If the damage isn't repaired, you'll be cooked alive. We have spare panels, but they'll need to be installed outside of the ship. How will you proceed? Let's be nimble! <gasps> April likes me! I like this little guy. Cute. Captain, we are now entering a field of cosmic gas. Well, Tom, you better collect that gas. Does Tom like me too? Dee Dee really doesn't like me. Yeah, he's fine with me. Okay. And I fed them on day 7, which makes this 4 days without food. So you're getting food tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna make Tom do that exercise. You probably read it. I'm gonna read it. Hold on. Uh, Captain, thus far I've kept the shuttle in artificial gravity, but I need to see how well you and the crew can adapt to zero gravity or weightless environment. The benefit of weightless environment is that you can store anything anywhere. The downside is it's harder to move around. Practice is mandatory, but if more than one person runs the zero D test at a time, it will be chaos. Who do you want to test? And he said I chose Tom. You are getting food tomorrow. That's what I said as well. I'm gonna stick to that. Oh no, the phone broke. Pay attention, Captain, since this is a doozy. We are approaching a, a celestial body that appears to be a planet. My scanners detect no life, but some structures on the surface suggest that it was inhabited at one point. The climate is harsh and unwelcoming, but even that beats being stranded in space, right? A landing can be attempted, but steering the ship will require exceptional eye-hand coordination. Since you're not exactly a brain surgeon, you will need luck on your side to succeed. Bearing that in mind, should I initiate the landing protocol? Yes. Smootopia. Perfect. Dee Dee, stop being angry. You're getting food. Hello, world! Day 13. Right. I should have done that. Dee Dee, stop being so angry. <sighs> put the phone in. It's broken, but put it in. Fix the shuttle's communication system. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm working on it. I really am. Wait. I guess I'll just recycle it and make it anew. Uh, what are the odds? Someone spotted an Astro Citizen emergency cargo crate lying nearby. I hadn't. I had to check. The odds are infinitely small. <laughs> what? Infinite small. I can't say that word, it's a big word. The odds are small. Unfortunately, it is empty, but for a syringe of Schlarp standard issue liquid for Astro Citizen re rejuvenation and holistic improvement, don't ask me about the capital like P, who should use the syringe? Dee Dee, it might make her like me. Dee Dee, please love me. Did not make her love me. Oh no, I need stone. Where can I find stone? I can find stone there. We don't have a gun though. We can also find stone there. Sending Tom away. He needs light. Do I have a lighter? I do not. Bring the cow! I have a bug, Captain. I don't know who modified my code, but that 
but the consequences could be devastating. You need to open up my back panel and per uh, perform an emergency fix. How will you approach the surgery? Approach the surgery. Wow. Ian words, huh? Great friends, huh? Didi, I really don't like you. Duct tape! Uh, and the lever. The lever. I really don't want to recycle any of those. Day 17. Yeah, I still don't have a problem. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed everyone. I'm gonna give myself a med kit. Then I'm gonna make a new med kit. Oh no, not right. I am not so bad. Am I getting hurt again? I am not hurt. Okay. I'm not gonna do anything there too. I mean it's probably more interesting if I read more, but honestly I am so bad at reading. He found a phone! We can fix it now. Yeah, I'm actually gonna feed him right away because I don't want to risk him dying. Also, gonna see here. I don't have a gas mask. I really think the fact that I don't have the book is gonna mess me up. Because I think I need to translate things on this planet. The shuttle sounds a bit riggedy, Captain. A fan about the terminal is making a clicking sound and there's a big cable knot behind one of the panels. I recommend a touch of spring cleaning. We don't have a ladder, so balance is one of the balance on one of the chairs and check behind the fan. Alternatively you could try to untie the knot on the cable. Well let's do that. Let's do like a ladder. How do I get Didi to like me though? Oh god, what is he? He's insane. Gotcha. Now we can fix the thing at least. <sighs> well, we do have a sock puppet, so he's getting it. And everyone else is getting food. Because I can't remember when I last fed them. Hello, world! Uh. Great success, Captain. The communicator attached to the communication console worked like a charm. I won't judge the aesthetics since I can finally receive an answer transmission. Blah 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 blah. Goal updated. Await contact. Yes, sir. Let's make... Make suit. We need suit. And I'm just gonna send someone over here because we need food. I'm gonna send Dee Dee. She finally likes me, but. Yeah. Just gonna move her away. Bye, bye, Dee Dee. I'm sick of you. Yeah, more soup. Let's make a phone. Mm -mm -mm. 
Captain, a metallic cylinder has been blown next to a shuttle by the violent winds. What an opportunity for research. It consists of two sections. One's opening is stuck and needs to be forced to gape. The other is locked, requiring a deft hand to open. Which shall it be? Deft hand, I guess that means... Tom today. Mine? Oh no. Oh no. I will not be able to feed Tom today. Oh no. Tom, please don't die. What happened with my soup? Tom, no. Greetings, tax evader. Your taxes are 20, 29,003 years overdue. The black spear beefing these words menacingly is an intergalactic tax collector. I let it in because its cred credentials looked absolutely legitimate and civil servants are due respect. What? It seems you were liable for this entire planet. I knew a surprise visit was in order, and here you are. I will begin my confiscating your ship. Step outside or else. The spirit commands. Do something, Captain. It's gotta be smart. That's what Captain is gonna do. Tom, please live. Tom lives. Scrambled transmission. A tax collector was requisitioned. <sighs> Requisiting... Big word! You claim to be a space tourist, willing to recommend this quadrant. You spun tales sweet enough to put ten diabetics into coma. A boisterous tax-paying tourist industry would begin soon with your eager recommendations. Blah 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 blah. The tax collector backed off. Good news, Captain. We got an incoming transmission. Playing now. Oh no! The communication is scrambled. The signal is not strong enough. Maybe someone could get on top of the ship and try to adjust the receiving dish. It's not a difficult job, but requires some agility. Who do you think will be best suited for the job? Let's pick April. Talk to your phone. Um... Please don't die. <sighs> Didi, please find some food. No! 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 She was eaten by alligators. This is awful. How? I'm insane, aren't I? Yeah, I'm insane. Uh, I'm detecting a huge energy surge beneath the surface. Seismic waves. Yeah, I'm gonna. Tom? We need those chemicals. You'll probably die, but I'm gonna try. Oh, Lord. Day 30, my insanity is getting worse. An alien vessel is approaching. Their ship is rigged with a light show sync to the music. Oh, time to dance. Time to dance. Okay, now, come uh, a and a sock puppet. But I, I really need that sock puppet. <sighs> we found some nice. No. Oh my god. Am I dying? Possibly. I'm fine. I'm not. Fine, I'm actually sick as well. I do need that soup though. A root 
Our routine has just become less plain. Some adorable duck-built creatures set up a nest nearby. They enjoy hugging your legs. We should disperse them. Or adapt to this fur. Well, I want to adapt. I think the shoe may have adapt. Hmm. Something fell from the sky in a flash, and now you are surprised. We are surrounded by a swarm of red-winged somethings. Of course, I anticipated this. This is scenario number eight, the seven thousand three hundred and ninety-four B. The small creatures are flying into our walls in waves, causing the hole to reverberate like a speaker. Are you God? They reverberate. For generations, we have been searching for the one who thinks outside the hive. Each jump, each jump from planet to planet dec decimates us. Are you the one? I, for one, believe you deserve a cult following, Captain, but the choice is yours. I do like that. I want a cult following. I'm not insane anymore, so... I just hope I don't die before I get the medkit. Probably will, though. No! Tom died, but hey, we got a book. Captain, something got a drop on me. It appears to be some kind of droid. It just activated. A web sack on its back carries floats and metal scrap, bits of plant and other oddities, including something which looks like a skull. It's extending its grip to open the airlock. Shall I secure the outer airlock door and deny the robot entry? Actually, let it in. I am sick and dying anyway. Day 55. Despite the little droid's creepy approach, you decide not to secure the airlock. I must admit, I was dubious about such a course of action, but the machine turned out to be quite the resource. Once inside, it fluttered about gathering up dust, metal, shaving, and... Deep tree? It whirred a little, then out its other end popped little orbits of material, one of which was a ball of edible organics. A snack! It finished cleaning up and left while you sat munching its robo-poop. You should eat something, Captain. I just ate something. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, please live. Can't really do much, but... Captain, according to my calculations, we can expect a light sandstorm in the area in just a few hours. It might be a good learning opportunity if we use the right tools. If you have a look at our inventory, perhaps you'll find something we can make use of during this event. If not, learn more about it, then at least maybe to secure the shuttle. Let's do the armor and uh, learn. I can finally heal. Yay! I can't really gather anything though, so that I'm dying. Not dying, but I don't have any more. Let's make more food. Actually, let's not make food, I have food. I don't have enough food to sustain for a while. Yesterday, you had the opportunity to boost the reception by replacing the battery in a communications module, but you didn't have one to spare. Maybe I didn't. Sir, something has affected Backy, my backup AI module. Perhaps it's interference. Perhaps it's interference from somewhere on this planet. Frankly, Backy needs a reboot. He's overloading the fan system. Use something to jam it or get rid of the bzzz. Hi, folks. It's too warm in this tin can, and Becky's here to fix it. I'll become your biggest fan. Ha ha. That was a very bad robot voice, but you're welcome. Uh, when a malfunctioning Becky took control, you left up and shoved some armor into the fan system's rapidly revolving rotor blades. It must keep a tighter. I must keep a tighter leash on him. He's more of a superficial intelligence. But don't say that to his face. He also has a frail ego. 
Ray Lido AI. Look at you, Captain. You're healthy as a horse. Still fear hungry. Mm. <sighs> Let's light it up. It's about two crewmates to die. Wow. I'm an amazing captain. I have low-key given up at this point, but I'm still, still gonna like click stuff. Just not gonna really read anything because yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Captain, I found something interesting on the surface of the planet. Looks like somebody passed their time by playing a super size version of Tic Tac Toe, but never completed this particular game. Yeah, let's go outside and check it out. Suck puppets are good. Make a suck puppet. I'm gonna feed myself today. Keep forgetting it takes two days. Uh... Oh, I can't have soup. I can't have soup. I need food. Right, day, day 43. Captain, stop dancing immediately, immediately and listen. This is a crisis. You are not a sailor on Broadway. Although, I must admit, you improvise beautifully. You have been poisoned. Well, if I've been poisoned, I'm gonna heal. Clearly. Wait, 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 wait actually. And let's now. Uh, there it is. Let's now unmake it. We're seeing a pamphlet in our window. Try e on Universal and Shopping from the comfort of your own planet. Free gift with sign up. Wow, neat. The e and network lets you order pretty much anything except for food and water, and it will arrive by a portal within one to two galactic business days. There's a catch, though. The account creation process requires you to jump through some hoops. I mean, literally. You have to leap through a string of temporal portals to become verified. The fine print says there's no risk of death or dismemberment, but insanity is possible. How do you want to tackle this? Jump! I have a puppet. Oh, I'm not insane! Yay! I still don't have a battery. Can I not make one now? I have the book? Actually, let's upgrade the book. Yesterday you had opportunity to boost reception, blah blah blah. The damage from the crash is worse than estimated, Captain. Several critical trick. Wow! Several critical systems were damaged. You can live without the trash compactor, but you need air. What will you use to make the repairs? The artifact, clearly. Cat is eating over there. <laughs> We're at day four seven, and yeah, show us in danger. We are on the path of vicious gale of nasty chemical composition, com composition, which is threatening to sabotage our air filler filters. Blah, blah. Words, what are? Don't know. It's pretty pretty easy to live when you're just one person. I would have liked. Sweet, a sweet old man looking like Charles Darwin is knocking at our airlock politely. You let him in and sh he shakes your hand, then holds it in an ivory grip and won't let go. Blah, 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 blah. Don't really care. I should eat. Uh, 
uh, uh, a Darwinian predator droid held you in its grip. You thrust yourself back and with one swift motion slip the armor on. Polygon is shot, but your armor held. You brace yourself, but what the droid did was far worse than anything you could have imagined. Charles Darwin burst into tears. I was so afraid I could have to kill I would have to kill you, it said, and you shared the sentiment. But you're excellent at defending yourself, thus worthy to survive. I'm so glad he hugged you tightly like a very friendly boa and left. Crafting completed, blah blah blah. Yes, game makes sound. Uh, the wind which was blowing ceaselessly for the past few hours has uncovered a path of sculpture near the ship. A cow's muscle open as if an expectation. A sacrificial spot, perhaps. I wonder if I have anything on hand to offer to this carving. Not that I'm superstitious, of course. I consider it a science experiment. Suck the bed! Hmm, what can we upgrade? It's a pretty good artifact. Day 50! <sighs> no, not really anything I can do here. Should probably just give up. Yeah. Yeah. You'll need the battery. I think I can. It's possible that I can proceed without it. I have to talk about it. I don't have one. I'm just gonna start to death, I guess. I've been playing for too long. Time to starve. Time to starve. Why am I not dead? Ah. Starve me. Why am I not starving? This is so dumb. Oh, there you go. Let's artifact this bitch away. And starve, starve, starve. Starve, starve, starve. Yeah. Well, I'm really sorry for wasting your time, guys. Cause of this, death starvation. Anyway, I will see you all in the next one.